Big thank you to Steve Talbot for giving me some heads up on some bus diagnostics. Veronica's gonna help me now. V's gonna turn the key, and I'm gonna put the little flashy light thing on. Okay. Yeah. It's recording. So let me explain where I was going wrong. This is the hot, this is 12 volts, and then this must be the negative or the ground. The starter passed the bench test, and so now what I'm going to do to see that this valve, which I can't show you the other side of, but it's basically a very thick eight gauge wire, very similar to this guy, and that valve, we wanna make sure that when she turns the ignition key, that this thing uh, lights up and transfers power. And so that's what we're looking for right now. Okay, so with this thing, there's three things going on. When we turn the ignition, it's not transferring power to this. I can't show you the bolt where I tested it on, but when we switch the ignition on, even though I was able to get the starter there, I can't get the camera there. So this guy is not transferring power. Steve told me that this little wire right here, which is connected to the starter, is the ignition. And even when we're turning the ignition switch, this isn't transferring any power. The 12 volt electrical light did not come on when we twist the ignition key. So I'm thinking now that it's a problem with the connection between the ignition and the uh, starter. Yeah, it's not doing anything. So I've got the key turned as if I were trying to start it. And it's not, it, yeah. Great, thanks for your help, I really appreciate it. Who is that? Uh, what? Steve Talbot. Okay, and what's your plan now? We're looking for the neutral safety switch. Okay. Huh? It's definitely not the starter. Uh, well, we can't I say definitely say yet. Of anything, definitely. <laughs> I really hope you're right, Steve Talbot. <sighs> so as I'm just troubleshooting and going through the wires, I found this bit. This is the relay, and as you can see, it got all corroded out here. This thing looks like it's supposed to be mounted using this on a wall somewhere where it's out of the way and housed properly like this so that it was like this. But where I found it was just twirled up under here underneath this fuel housing cylinder. Okay, so for anyone who had just really still thinks it's the starter, I've got this one hooked up there and here we go. <laughs> so what's happening is that Ignition is not sending a signal for the starter to start. The starter will turn over. The starter works. So that was just a test to just to confirm that the starter starts. That's just to confirm that the starter is not the problem. <laughs> yeah. You're in deep thought. What are you thinking? I'm thinking that I'm so sick of it. Next. Ah! What I'm doing now is trying to figure out which wire is the starter wire. I think there's five wires that come off the back of the ignition. And so what I'm looking for now is which wire is the starter wire. The starter wire is going to be the one that won't pass the test. It won't light up if I poke this tester on it, but it will light up when I turn the key and I have it on it. Okay, it's the purple. It's the purple! The starter wire is the purple one. And the way that I tell that is I just take one of these, I put this guy on ground, I've got a starter tester like this, and then I just stab this point right through the wire. And that'll give me the reading. So the purple wire is the start wire. That means that the ignition switch is working. And now what I'm gonna do is trace the purple wire and see where that goes. Chokey! Choke low! Hello, buddy! to have a big chat. Now you have to go test it down in the... We have to find 4B. You're doing great. 4B, and it's purple and white. You see any purple and white wires in here? Okay, so this one's purple and white, and it goes to a bundle that says starter, which really makes me believe that it's the starter. So what I'm gonna have V do is we're gonna run this test again. She's going to go up and put the ignition on, and then I'm going to test it, and we're gonna make sure that that's the right starter one, even though I'm pretty sure it is. Still can't find it. Should we test this one again? I mean, okay, go ahead and engage it. And now turn it on. So I don't have to wait for all the lights? Nah, you don't have to wait. Are you sure? Yeah, it's not start starting, so. Okay, this is it. I must not have had a good. 
Oh, cool. I must not have stabbed through it enough. And now this is B45B. Looks like 45B goes in and out. Turn the keys to the um, engage position. Okay, now turn them on. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> what, what happened? I didn't try it again. Oh my gosh. Should I wait until the lights go on this time? Or just turn it off and then turn it back on. This time wait for the cool well, air light to go off. Okay. Okay, go ahead. Warning, wait to start. I'm gonna wait. Okay, go ahead. Let me know when it's ready. Okay, it's ready. Uh-huh. Ready? Yeah. Oh. Just keep it on, keep it on. Well, that's weird. Okay, so when I'm grounding B32, or when I put the test light into B32, which it goes into the starter thing, that causes a start. That leads me to believe that we're getting much closer. Whew. Oh. I didn't ground it. Okay, go ahead and turn it all off. B32. B32. Okay, V, I'm gonna uh, just kind of wiggle back and forth this B32 okay. wire. It's a yellow one, it should be. You might be able to just spot it. Oh, it's down there. It's, oh, sorry, it's in this bunch down here. Okay, the reason that this is causing the bus to start is because I'm grounding that switch. And that switch is running towards the back, which leads to me to believe that there was a switch in the back, like an emergency exit, that's causing this problem. We're almost there, V. I think we're almost there. Yay! Victory! We can smell it! Can you still see? I gotta say, I'm excited because I, I've basically learned how to diagnose electrical problems now. Like, yeah. I might not be really good at it yet, and I'm not... I don't understand the basis of it, but I'm definitely not a complete dunce like I was three days ago. That's great. Have to look at the positives. Oh man, this is incredible. Is that it? What? I think what's gonna happen is I'm gonna ground this wire, and this is this is the whole thing. This wire, if it had been grounded when we started this mission. This is our whole thing, is that this wire wasn't grounded. That's what my theory is right now. I need to clip it, I'm gonna screw this in, and then we're gonna have you try to start the bus. Okay, B32. And turn it! Okay, turn it off. Oh my gosh! We've been doing this for how many days, and it was just that one wire that needed to be oh grounded. Oh my gosh! Holy moly! Victory! Yeah! <laughs> I want to say a special thank you to Steve Talbot. Your help was bit today has been completely very, very helpful. I'm so happy that I'm not going to be working on this electrical system tomorrow. <laughs> oh my lord. Thank Thanks, you. Steve. You're the best. <laughs> Thank you.